How's it going, tubes? Well, Princess Otto, for some reason, has sent out another flyer. They seem to go weird like this the odd time. They'll send out, like, a sales flyer, like, within the next three days. You've got the next one for the next sale. So, that's what happened, you know? We just went to Princess Otto the other day, and now they've already sent out the flyer for the frickin' April 3rd sale. So, we're gonna have a quick look at that and see if there's any cool now. Probably is. Sale starts Tuesday, April the 3rd. And, uh, it's a fairly fairly beefy flyer, I'm surprised, but uh, I haven't looked through her yet, so if she's new for you, she's new for me. There's a 12 ton shop press, mine's at 20, I think I paid a little more than that, about 150 or something, I can't remember now, but that's pretty good for small stuff, 100 bucks. You wouldn't, couldn't buy the steel for that to make one, you know, plus you gotta get all the, the do -do -do and, ooh, and the springs and the, you know, the bolts and everything and drill those freaking holes in them so yeah that's actually a pretty good deal now what do they got over here a little suction glass lifter things those are kind of handy sometimes but nah I don't need that $5.99 though that's pretty decent body filler stuff not really need that thread and, thread and tool good if you're doing a lot of that but I don't do much of that the only thing I unthread them with the you know, blowing them up. <laughs> I didn't say that. There's one of those chainsaw sharpeners somebody was asking me about there. Same same one. Seem to sell them a lot uh, TSC and you know, places like that. But uh, yeah, 119 is not bad. Went from 189 save 70 bucks. So and there's a polisher and I'd like to update my drill press and get one that stands up on its own, but uh, the one I got, I got a small one like this too, but it doesn't have that much for balls, eh? And you can install it out like a half inch bit, you can install it out, so. Wow, that's a pretty good price. For a 30 ton hydraulic shop press for a thousand bucks, I think they're frig of a lot more than that usually, but um, wow. Engine stand, geez, I could almost use one of them for flipping the engine, but uh, I'll just use the big backhoe. Ooh, nice vehicle lift. Uh, I don't think I need any of that stuff. I got extension cord thingy now, so yeah. Wow, the air stuff. That's a good price too. Wow, three hundred bucks for a five horse compressor duty electric motor. Ooh wee. Should upgrade, but no, it's okay. Mine's is, mine's is pretty good. Welder, propane torch, dual tube propane torch. Hmm. Double your pleasure, I guess, eh? Air compressor, good there. See that crap. There's a nice big impact if you're drilling and driving the big stuff. Bench grinder, could sometimes use one of them, but I got lots of like hand grinders, mini grinders and stuff. Uh, hydraulic stuff. Well, that's neat. Camp in the back of your truck for $239 a piece. Mm. Honda or Honda knockoff motory sort of things. Ooh, diesel. Five hundred bucks. That thing would probably sit there and bang, 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 just run like that all day, I bet, eh? On like three ounces of gas, probably. Or diesel, probably. Pumps, no, good for that. The trash pump. Sort of like the one I got, not quite, but... Ooh, solar stuff. Now that's interesting. I always wanted to change over to the solar stuff, but it's so friggin' expensive. You know, there's lots of sun there, you might as well friggin' use it, eh? Instead of just getting sunburns and heat stroke all the time, friggin' put her to your toaster for frig's sakes. Holy cow, they're selling three point hitch excavator. Yeah, right. Excavate my butt. Digging strength, 2100 pounds. Maximum digging depth, boom. Bucket width, 11 inch. Be good for doing little cremation holes, but that's about friggin' it. Good luck trying to get into to some freaking uh, rocky stuff for uh, freaking uh, clay or something. Why wow, they want 6,500 for that? Whee. 
watch it in action at princessauto.com. Oh, frig, we might have to go check that out, Tubes. Maybe I'll see if I can rip it off their site and put it on there so you can see it so you don't have to go through the link and crap. Uh, what else they got, Tubes? What else they got? ATV spreader. I'd be wanting to tear up the grass too much. I think, you know, ring, ring, ring. Hmm. I don't see much on there, need. Or that page. Hour meter you maybe need for stuff. Put an hour meter on the Jeep. Wireless backup sensor. Yeah, I just wait till I hear glass break, but I know I've gone far enough. Or plastic will crunch. Trailer stuff. Oh, that's neat. Clevis. Huh? Clevis ball mount. Hmm. Different. Never seen one of them before. Oh, the pages are getting thinner. We might not have to go for a ride. Shrink tubing got lots of that crap. Trailer lights and stuff. Don't really need that. Axles don't really need that. And last but not least, don't think I need anything this time. So that's all right. But frick, let's go. Uh, Check out this stupid video they got here. I'll see if I can uh, either put a link up for you or figure that go on that back over here. Watch it in action at princessauto.com. Let's go there, tubes. So well, that thing's pretty cool. A bit expensive, I think, probably for what it'll do, because they never did show actual digging. Mind you, it was winter time, and yeah, it dug the snow good. But um, I'd like to see it dig into some dirt and stuff, you know, and see how much power you got. And you probably got to back out of a lot of things and then just dig little wee bits, you know. Like we used to have something like that on uh, the tractor before this green tractor we got now. Um, it had a little back hole like that on it. it we dug full size graves with it and frig it took forever you know because it had a bucket about that size and it would only dig down six six and a half feet I think so to um, to dig that uh, grave you'd have to start like halfway on the grave 
and then start digging, dig down, dig down, you know, and then start moving back, moving back. Whereas now I can just sit there and, you know, it's awesome. So, but, uh, yeah, you know, for some guy digging little trees or something or digging a hole for a tree or moving rocks with that thing, little small rocks and stuff, landscaping or something for small stuff, it'd be, be just perfect, you know. But mind you, you got to have the tractor to run that too. You don't have a tractor on that, that machine yet, so you're going to need something to feed that thing with a certain gallons per minute for for the oil too right so you'd have to probably spend another 18 20 25 grand on another tractor too right unless you already had her but so yeah you might as well just buy something with the back already on it so yeah i don't know they've got another one there too um princess auto that uh is a tow behind or something and it uh it's got a little gas motor on it a little hydraulic pump and stuff and it just works like that so um, I think it was like $5,500 or something like that, about the same size sort of thing, but uh, they didn't seem to have it in their paper there, but uh, yeah, but they're getting into a lot of big stuff now, you know, it was the, uh, those uh, automotive car lifts first, and then uh, now into those freaking backhoes, so, you know, things are looking up, I guess. So, yeah, just uh, on the computer there, on the Facebook stuff, and uh if you guys want to come on there and find me on the Facebook, it's, um, I gotta put my name as, uh, Bill's T Max on U Y U Tube. Wouldn't let me put Y O U Tube. I don't know why. But, uh, let me show you here. I'll get in and sit down again. But, uh, yeah, I go on and talk to people. You know, I don't ignore people like some people do. Um, I get on there and I'm talking to one guy right now and he's asking me about Jeep stuff and, you know, and, uh, Oh, I've been talking about all kinds of neat stuff here, but I won't show you his, his name because he may not like that. But uh, hang on one sec here, I'll uh, fire up this, the main page here. It's me, Bills T Max on you, why YouTube. So, yeah, if you see me on, you know, I don't uh, block all my uh, freaking uh, that I'm on kind of thing, whatever you call that. But uh, uh, if you want to come say good day or something, freaking come on and say good day. You know, see when my birthday is? November 22nd, 1912. Can you believe that? I'll freaking tell you, some days I freaking feel that old. But, uh, yeah, anyhow, uh, I guess we'll just shut things down here for tonight. It's getting pretty late, and i uh, got to do some, some uploading and stuff for you guys, and some editing and stuff still. So, yeah, we're going to... Shut her down here, and we'll freaking talk at you next time. And uh, freaking uh, have a good night and a good freaking day, and all the other freaking stuff. So, talk at you later, tubes. Have a good day. If you would be interested in a shout out for your YouTube channel, please send a letter with your YouTube username to the following address, and I will slap it on one of my videos. And if you send me a return address, I'll also send you back uh, one of my Bill's T Max stickers. Have a good day, tubes.